Nation. Welcome to your seven day forecast with angelic ascensions. I hope all is genuinely well. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Sag placements in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus dominant in your natal chart, or if you happen to be cross watching for a Sagittarius, there might be some information in this reading that may resonate with you. Uh, keep in the back of your mind, Sag, that this reading is general. Not everything may apply to you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Please don't make any rash decisions based on what you hear from a general reading. If you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you, you can, of course, book a reading on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. Let's jump right into it. Okay, here you are, Sag. Um, some of you might be, some of you Sagis might be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It just seems like someone's unhappy with the situation. I see someone Sagittarius, they could be very overwhelmed, stressed out. Um, and it seems like the stress of something is really starting to get to someone. They're feeling very overwhelmed at this moment. It could have something to do with a Capricorn or an air sign. Um, in your energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Capricorn. Um, for some of you, what's overwhelming you, or this could possibly be how someone's dealing with the situation, is to drink. Some of you, Sagis, might be dealing with a functioning alcoholic. Maybe you're getting into it with someone because it does feel like there's tension or there's stress between you and someone. There's some type of accusation. It's like someone sees something. Someone sees something for the truth. Sag. And it seems like someone's calling the other one on their BS. Some of you could be involved with a, someone who could be a martial artist, possibly. Um, random side note. But I see someone getting into it with someone. This could be a parent and child situation, or this could be siblings getting into it. You might have a situation with sibling rivalry in your situation, Sagittarius, or there could be a parental figure that feels like maybe someone's playing favorites. But I definitely see someone verbally attacking a Leo. And it just seems like someone is maybe staying in a situation for financial stability. Maybe, or if that's not the case, then it feels like Sagittarius, what you're stressed out over is a financial situation. Unless this is what you're getting over with someone, yeah, repeatedly, over and over again. Something continues to happen in this situation, Sagittarius. And it just seems like because you're so stressed out, there's somebody that you wish would just stay away. It might be an Aries. This just seems like there's some frustrations in the household this week. Yeah, it just seems like someone is creating trouble, creating problems. And it could be this third person. Yes. Seeking union, returning. For some of you that are not in um, a coupled relationship, well, it doesn't even have to be the case. It could be that the two of you are going through stress right now. And maybe the two of you might decide to maybe um, separate for a minute. And somebody possibly returns to the situation. It could possibly be this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It seems like there could be a written message coming in from someone this week. Sagittarius. Maybe you haven't heard from someone in a minute, Sag. Especially if this is you having friction with someone. Because truth be told, it looks like you're having like a circular argument with someone. What I mean by that is that you're arguing with someone, but there's no resolution to the situation. Yeah, it's like someone doesn't really feel loved in the situation right now. Like there's no love, there's no kindness between the two of you, possibly a Libra. So this King of Swords could definitely be a Libra. There's a lot going on in your reading, it looks like, um, Sagittarius. Like I said, it feels like it's a money situation for you. That could be what you're stressed out about. That could be the situation that you feel like you're chasing. Because it feels like right now, Sagittarius, maybe you feel like you don't have clarity about something. You're not really communicating with someone at the moment. You might have to block somebody. 
Sagittarius before this week is over. Okay, because let's make it very clear. Somebody's watching you. They have their eye on you, Sagittarius, or you have your eye on someone. Seems like you you have a lot on your plate this week, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. I was getting into something else, but it feels like we're, we're we're back talking about this. Someone's returning. Someone wishes that you would come back, Sagittarius. Yes. So somebody has been mean and nasty to you, or you guys just. Yeah, you can't come where I'm going. Someone definitely feels like it's just time to go someplace else, clear their head. And after a moment of time passes, someone comes back to try to fix something with you. You may not speak to this person for a, a, a moment, Sagittarius, a cross watcher, because you might feel like they're absolutely toxic. They stress you out. If this has something to do with a parent-child situation, there's a child that feels overly criticized by their parent. And some there's a child that's trying to go above and beyond to look for approval from a parent. And this week, it just feels like it, they feel like they don't get it. They, they, they don't get that approval. And it could be Sagittarius that maybe um, you don't... It seems like you're stressed out. And maybe someone doesn't know what's going on with you you could be very emotional this week um you could be snapping at people and there might be situations where someone doesn't understand why and somebody might feel like you're taking it out on them or vice versa yeah this is a kid i feel like you are having conflict with someone and maybe it's difficult to keep the peace with someone because you feel like someone's words are just very destructive. They're very harmful. And maybe when you're arguing with someone, you feel like they throw your darkest moments back in your face during an argument. So I think that someone would like to sit down and talk with you, Sagittarius, or Crosswatcher. And I think it's just a matter of time before... Someone that you absolutely love and adore comes back in your energy. You might not like them right now, Sag. Yeah. It just seems like, like I said before, you're overwhelmed, you're stressed out, you're frustrated being around someone in particular. You might feel like this week someone is acting childish. For some of you, this stress comes in because of something that you found out about. Okay, because like I said, somebody's watching. What's going on? Why are they watching Sagittarius or why are you watching them? Um, let's get to the root. What's going on that we don't see? Soon, LSS. I'm going to be doing the all signs pretty soon. Okay, yeah. Somebody has a lot of pent up frustration, a lot of anger. I do. I feel like somebody's taking it out. Ooh, I hope not. But someone in your situation could be physically abusive. For some of you, what you find out this week is that your partner has been unfaithful. Others of you, it says somebody's been running their mouth about you behind your back. And that could be a friend of yours. That could be a parent and there could be a child or whomever this could possibly be that could be really um, frustrated about somebody's business being on front street. It's like they talk to you about something in private and it gets back to somebody else. You got somebody that could also be eavesdropping on your situation, eavesdropping on your conversation, Sagittarius or cross watcher. Either way, the point that I'm trying to make is that it feels like someone this week would like to come in and make peace with you. They would like to balance the situation out. Um, for some of you, the issue is that one of you feels like you carry more responsibility than the other one. If you're in a relationship with someone and you have children, it's like someone is feeling like they're a single, par a, a single parent. 
in a two party relationship where it's supposed to be two parents. They feel like the other person, the other parent or whoever else might be in the household is not splitting the responsibility. Someone is holding a grudge. Someone is really still angry about a particular situation, or this is just you harboring a lot of anger and resentment about the situation, but maybe feeling like you don't have anyone to turn to. For some of you, this stress has something to do with a legal situation. Let's look into that. What's going on in court? Oh, are you filing a restraining order? That's what this feels like. Somebody is in legal trouble. Is this actually happening or is this something that you're worried about? Let me see what this is. Holy Spirit, show me what's going on for vagination with courts. Some of you, that's where the tension is. Some of you, this might be a divorce. Someone could be um, arguing with you this week and mentioning divorce. Yeah, somebody is definitely putting their hands on someone. Okay, you have a legal situation, Sagittarius. You could be coming to some type of compromise or agreement with someone. Is someone trying to sue you, take you to court? Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I see children in this situation. So this could definitely be... Um, what am I trying to say? Child custody. Yeah, somebody's going to confront you over something. This feels like you're going to mediation, this balance situation. Like there could be a mediator in your situation. What's going on? Yeah, you definitely have someone watching you. Especially online. Or you're watching someone, Sagittarius. There's a fire sign clinging like fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. That's who's watching you clinging to your every move. Online. Okay, so we see what this is. Innocence. If you are going to court and this is something that's stressing you out, it feels like there could be some type of accusation. And it might be a false accusation, Sagittarius. I don't know. I just get the sense that you're under some type of investigation. Okay, yes, that's what this is. Is this like this is involved like, I guess in some states... It's D D F DFS, Department of Family Services. Um, in California, it's CPS, Child Protective Services. Is that what I'm seeing, Spirit Guides? Because it just really feels like someone is, is coming after someone. Trying to make someone lose out. How does this go? Yeah, that might be the excessive pressure. For others of you, there's a kid... There's a child that feels a lot of excessive pressure on them. This is just you. Like I said, you're stressed, you're overwhelmed. But, but if this is a legal situation, how does this play out, spirit guys? It's like your spirit guys want you to relax about something. You're stressed about it. But it looks like something that you're really stressed about, whatever this happens to be, if it's a legal situation, if it's whatever, if it's your schedule, because it definitely feels like that's where you might need you might benefit from some balance as your schedule. It just seems like you're all over the place and it's difficult for you to focus to really finish and complete a task. But either way, if this is a legal situation that's stressing you out, this feels like this is the threat of a legal situation. Pushing upward, deliverance. This feels like your spirit guides are giving you some type of deliverance from something that you feel is toxic. You feel like something is an absolute hellhole for you. For some of you, it might be a relationship right now. It might seem like it's just very turbulent and somebody wants out and they feel like, you know what? 
maybe this is the best route maybe you know someone feels like maybe you guys should just divide the assets and just move on sell the house this sort of thing that's it feels like someone has some type of hasty thinking this week being very hasty about their decisions so this is your guys inviting you to take time. Yep, if this is a financial situation, it feels like you have some type of debt. You might owe a balance someplace and maybe you feel like you're you're barely, because this feels like you're working, Sagittarius. If you're not, it feels like you soon will be. Next month, it feels like it brings in some, it invites in some new energy. So if this is you and you've had some type of financial setback due to a job loss, or I don't know if this is like a slowdown with your money, your hours got reduced or whatever. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about it with your work. Some of you, that's where you're, I hope that's not where you're getting into a relationship with somebody, Sagittarius. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life, Sag, but if that's what you're trying to do and get in a relationship with somebody you work with, it, it's not advisable. But it's up to you. You feel like you're in a hole financially. It feels like for the longest time you've been trying to push through something. And it seems like you're able to make gradual progress towards something, some type of financial goal that's been stressing you out. Like I said, there's some type of pressure on you. For some of you, it's at work. And for others of you, it's a boss. If it's not a boss, then it's um, you might be in upper management. Maybe you manage other people. No, this feels like this is someone above you. Maybe that's who's watching you, Sagittarius. I'm trying to tell you, please don't get involved with somebody at work. Because it seems like it's more stress than it's worth. People see you as entertainment at work, Sagittarius. Maybe you work in the entertainment industry. Not sure. But um, if this is you dating somebody, you might have people just all in your business. And be careful this week about carrying whatever is going on in your household to work. Because it seems like whatever you're going through at home is very complex and very delicate. And it could be easy for you to, you know what I mean, let your feelings show at work. People might take notice of maybe, somebody might feel like, okay, something's going on. Something's going on with Ann or Susan or, or, or Todd or whomever this is. Yeah, it just seems like at work you wish people would stay out of your business. And it just seems like people are prying this week. You got a lot of pressure. It feels like you have a lot on your plate. You might be multitasking, okay? You might have um, someone, like I did mention, a higher up. I don't know, maybe you're in a high profile position anyway or this is a higher up okay what's going on in this situation spirit guys what am i missing because it doesn't feel like you like your job right now at this moment it just feels like you want out and i think that might be what some of you are really making a decision about this week about whether or not it's genuinely time to leave this place so this seems like there's some type of harassment going on at work This could be some type of sexual misconduct. Yep, this is the week where you're deciding. Deciding whether or not you should leave this place. And maybe the discouragement, maybe that's the decrease. Maybe this is something that you're worried about. Or maybe you did already leave this job and this is where the pressure, pressure is on. Because it seems like your bills are higher than your income. Like you're upside down. And that's the stress that you're experiencing. And it's the not knowing of how this is going to play out, especially if it's a legal situation that's really doing you in. Sagittarius. Seems like there's some money coming through for you. Maybe there's some money that you've been waiting for.
when does this money come in it feels like it there's there's some type of solution some type of viable solution it may not cover everything sagittarius but it seems like there is some money coming in that this month between the next three to four weeks that will help you with this situation definitely be mindful of your mindset this week it feels like you're very close to the finish line sagittarius you're very close to finishing something up maybe it's a school for you maybe it's, it's the semester i guess school just started right the new semester may have just started oh small influences i think this might be an influence on a child you might not like who your child is around what's going on with finances this week somebody's coming back home no maybe someone's the breadwinner sagittarius no it seems like you're happy to, to see someone again stand still okay that's what's going on okay i did say that there's some money coming through sagittarius or you, you're able to chisel away at something little by little by little i think this is you rushing to finish something or get something done sagittarius and it's almost i won't say almost because i'm not trying to confuse you let me make it, it it feels like your guides are trying to get you to slow down slow your pace so you're thinking. Because it, yep, yeah, balanced life. You have it here. Once you have too much on your plate. If, if, if you can, if your situation has it available, you may want to delegate. You're taking on too much. So there might be some things that you might have to like get rid of or trim away to help alleviate mm -hmm, the stress. Something is a huge stressor in your life and maybe you don't see it, but somewhere within this next seven days, it feels like you're getting clarity on what you feel that you don't know or what you feel that you're missing because it feels like you're in the thick of something right now. You're not yet across. You haven't completed something or you haven't seen something for yourself and it feels like you will. Dispersing, that's the money that's coming through. This could be financial aid. I don't know, it seems like there's some type of payment coming through, it's just coming through very slowly. Or you might get paid maybe next week and you might want to find a way to budget your money to make it through but it seems like you could possibly make it through but what your gifts slow down to relax you're moving a mile a minute i think this is your mental space really so your thoughts so that you can find a viable solution because you guys are saying there is one sagittarius it's just your anxiety that's popping up this week your mind is playing tricks on you and it's not necessary to believe or give in to every little thought that you have not all thoughts are true half the things sagittarius that we worry about some of those things don't even happen so you could be find yourself worrying for absolutely no reason right because it does feel like there is a solution that that comes in this week or there is someone that helps you see a solution to your situation, whatever this happens to be. But someone this week, you might, if this is that work, somebody is harassing you. And you might complain to HR, and you might feel HR doesn't do anything about it. I think this is the week we talked about this card that said deciding, I think this is you. Deciding whether or not there's other opportunities out there for you and whether or not this is still a road that you want to travel professionally. I think this is the week that you're, make, that you're making your mind up about that. I mentioned to you this is a very emotional week for you. Might be a lot of the past. 
repeating itself, including past people coming back. Maybe you're not sure whether or not you should let or allow certain individuals back into your situation because it's an integrity factor for you. There are some people that you don't trust. Okay. Whatever you, whatever, like I said, whatever you don't have clarity on, it feels like you're going to get that clarity. But it also feels like for some of you, maybe this is you deciding to not date for a minute. And maybe until you kind of clear your mind, get clarity and learn how to let certain things go. Because it feels like you're holding on to a lot of anger this week, Sagittarius, or there's just a lot of anger that just rushes to the surface and you don't understand why. Okay, show me Sag Nation. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what's going on around you and adapt accordingly. Your guys are saying assess what's going on around. Mm -hmm. Assess what's going on around you and act accordingly. This isn't assessment mode. This is this isn't going to get you to where you're trying to be. Okay, because it looks like you're trying to pull yourself out of a situation. You got to clear your head, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the Sag Nation? Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help you resolve the situation more quickly. I didn't say this in the reading, but I see it now. There's someone that feels caught in the middle. Like they have to kind of decide, like choose sides in a situation. Like somebody is feeling like they have to maybe play referee or they're having to, I don't know. Somebody's like making somebody choose their side versus the other person's side. Somebody feels caught in the middle. Remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Somebody this week is starting problems. And for you... It's like, don't start none, won't be none, right? If somebody doesn't start drama with you, they then they shouldn't, ex you know what I mean? You're throwing that back to them. Anyway, it might be a good idea to not contribute. Maybe, just depends on the situation. It feels like you have a lot on your plate. I feel like this is somebody saying something that's just really belittling. Yeah, your angels are definitely beside you with something that you're going through this week. They're giving you clarity. The advice, Holy Spirit, about this for the Sagittarius, surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. I think this is the issue. Something's not flowing. But it feels like it's it's due to someone in your surroundings. I did say something is a stressor to you this week. Something, someone, whatever's creating the drama, your guides are saying, alleviate it. Pull back, pull away, find inner peace so that you can see the solution. Or if this is just you in your head replaying old situations over and over again to the point that it riles you up and gets you very emotional you may need to reroute your thoughts it feels like it's the way that you're thinking this week sagittarius it's the way that you're thinking about yourself let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past we just talked about the past then you can own your power and soar in your life for some of you sagittarius you are your own worst enemy why you have a devil on one side an angel on one side i don't know you got balance here i think you have some type of spiritual gift to be honest and maybe i don't know maybe it's time for you to choose sides it just depends what thought are you going to listen to what are you going to give in to it just feels like, like I said, you, you got an angel sitting on one side, a demon sitting on the other. I don't know. I just, I definitely feel like you see spirits. Pisces is next, Tabitha. Thank you for mentioning it. 
Lastly, the advice for Sag Nation is that your friends. Maybe it's time to make new friends, Sagittarius. Because maybe that's something that you're seeing about someone this week. It could be that person. It seems like you're under some type of spiritual attack. That's what I'm seeing. For some of you, that's what that is. That's not for everyone. What I just mentioned about spiritual attack, that's not everybody's situation. So please don't um, please don't jump to conclusions. That might not be you, but it's for someone. The time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. Okay, so maybe the time is right. Maybe you don't have clarity and maybe this week you're seeing that maybe that's what it's time to see. It's the time is right for you to capitalize on something, to follow your vision. Never lose sight of what's really important. That's what I mean. Half of the things, Sagittarius, that we worry about don't even play out in our lives. Don't lose sight of what's important. I don't know. All right. Sagination, this concludes your seven day forecast with angelic ascensions. Uh, feel free to book a reading on my website if you maybe saw some things in the reading that you were not sure for you, but might be. I still have a sale going on for 30 minute same day phone readings. You can book on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Peace out.